I had to make a part two just so we could get an ensemble of fitness gurus intertwined in this debate so we could have more credible evidence at hand to disperse, you know, so everybody doesn't feel swayed or jaded or misconstrued. In hindsight, this is what we need. We need an open dialogue at the coffee round at the coffee round table of fucking scholars. Think of this as a meeting of the minds. The IQs are firing at all cylinders. Now I'm gonna call upon one of my oldest comrades, one of my oldest associates in the community. That is time and time again I have called upon in times of distress to lay honestly the foundation the fucking the meat and potatoes of some of these debates and he, he's always come he's always come to shine with you know bipartisan style dialogue he's a very open transparent man a family man and breaking out standard records in his neck of the woods over in germany and I appreciate him wholeheartedly, and I commend him for changing his life through fitness and helping people with information on a daily basis. I take my hat off to Keller Kine Garrett, and I want to ask him his I want to ask his opinion to snowball off the last video. This is a part two on his opinion on the whole straight bar, easy bar difference to compare the two in his humble opinion. What's harder? What's easier? His reasoning why the two have the differences at hand that they do. And all of those type of things there. Thank you, Kelakai and Garrett. If you could take the time out of your day to give your insight, I appreciate you wholeheartedly.